Listen, there's nothing I hate more than people who steal other people's gimmicks. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Sean White. I'm, I'm calling you out publicly, you coward. And you're lucky you cut that hair, too. Because as we all learned in the 1986 classic Highlander, there could be only one. <laughs> I'm not Sean White. I don't take other people's stuff. And that's one reason I hate to do this. To review Zuzu Pets for the Nintendo DS. These are fucking hamsters. We have we already have a hamster guy. I hate hamsters and I hate Thursdays. So this is like I mean, I'm way beyond the outskirts of my comfort zone here. Plus it's this is for little girls. So this game was sent to us by Felicity in the UK. And this girl, I'm telling you guys, she she sends us boxes upon boxes of the weirdest crap. I mean, Hamster Thursday is only a weekly thing because she sent us so many hamster games, it became a weekly thing. Nonetheless, even TJ was like, Nah, man, I, I'll pass on the Zuzu. You, you can do the zoo, Derek. He's, TJ's like a nerdy Dale Jr. So I got news for you, guys. I got a whole freaking stack of Zuzu games, and I'm gonna review them. Because no one else on the freaking internet has. I might, I might not be the hero you need right now, Zuzu fans, but I'm the hero you deserve, Lieutenant Gordon. And obviously, I have no freaking idea what to say about this game. I mean, look at it! What, what do you want me to say about this? Like, honestly. You won a trophy! You've unlocked a new adventure area! Great job! So, Zuzu Pets is like... It's like a hamster simulator and maze game. How is that even a thing? You start with one hamster and you have to take care of it. You have to water the hamster, feed the hamster, pet the hamster, put it in the toilet. You can't flush the toilet, unfortunately. And the hamsters all have needs, like any pet simulator. So you're giving them what they need, like uh, a human slave to your hamster masters. Who's really running in the wheel here? You tell me. There are nine Zuzu pets to unlock in total, so eventually you have to multitask to address their needs. It actually gets a little hectic for a kid's game, which is kind of fun. Once you've done all your nurturing, you can put the hamsters in these crazy mazes, which is when things get a little more interesting. Kind of like those plastic hamster cities, only with freaking ramps and coins. Like, what, what do hamsters even purchase? Like, cedar chips? You won a trophy! Great job! There are about 30 of those mazes, and at first they're kind of fun. Eventually that wears off a bit. The game's really repetitive and shallow. So it's not long before you've seen everything it has to offer. The touch controls are nice, but the gameplay in the mazes never changes. The sim stuff is never as deep as something like Nintendogs. It's just, it's a very basic, very kid-friendly pet simulator and hamster action thing. Yeah, I, I remember reviewing a Zuzu Pets game for the Wii a long time ago. Back when I was yelling into the microphone. Why was I doing that? I, I, I was new to the whole video thing. My hearing was bad. But I remember that game being a solid little platform game for kids. And this is the same thing. It's a solid little whatever it is for kids. If I had to recommend one, I'd go with the platformer for Wii. To me, that was substantially more fun than this. Then again, I used the word substantially. So I'm, I'm probably not this game's target audience. I also have balls. But hey, I still have a bunch of these left to play, so we'll see where it goes from here. Could get better, could get way worse. It's Zuzu Pets for the Nintendo DS. It's like a hamster soup kitchen.